I'm Dr. Chandra Niranjan, and I will introduce some golden rules of human conduct. In simple language, how do you understand human nature to get along with people better? Let me start with a famous saying: Before you talk, listen; before you react, think; before you criticize, wait. Dealing with people is the biggest problem one faces in any walk of life. When dealing with people, remember that you are not dealing with people with just logic, but you are dealing with humans who have ego, pride, feeling, desires, and a craving to be appreciated and made to feel important. The lesson: How to get along with people will give you tips on how you can develop being sensitive to such emotions. and learn to get along with people anybody can criticize condemn complain argue but it needs a lot of self control and character to be understanding and forgiving as mentioned every human being has a craving to be acknowledged appreciated and feel important let me give you a small anecdote on this A farmer came home with his five friends for lunch as usual. His wife placed a plate of grass in front of each of them. But the farmer was very angry. He looked at her and asked her if she knew what she was doing. She replied very calmly, "I have been cooking for you gentlemen for the past 20 years and not once have I heard that you have not been eating a plate of grass." what do you think she was wanting that's right she wanted some simple honest acknowledgement and appreciation now this is what is most necessary how do you make people like you so that you will be welcome anywhere another anecdote a group of five friends where uh, sorry how do you make people like you so that you will be welcome anywhere let me give you another anecdote a group of five friends were attending a self improvement class now for one of the assignments she asked her husband to give her six things that she could improve upon to be a better wife and a better person the husband was confused he had a whole list a long list so he told her give me time till the morning i will give you your answer what did he do he went to the florist the next morning and asked him to send a bunch of six roses with a note saying i cannot find six things that you need to improve upon i love you the way you are now when he met his when he so now when he came back from work that evening what do you think or who do you think met him yes his wife who was almost in tears when he met the other friends a couple of days later they said now that was the most considerate thing that we have ever heard he thought to himself I could have been critical. I could have criticized her. Thank God I did not. I now realize the power of appreciation. So you see, you need to appreciate and acknowledge people because that is one of the golden rules of human conduct. The other very important thing that you'll have to know in one of these uh, golden rules is arguing. do you have to always argue and win always another anecdote for you so that you will be able to understand very clearly there was once there was a party a celebration party uh, which was on behalf of the awardee dr mahesh he was sitting with his the guest of honor next to him i'm sorry 
I'm going to do this again. Do you have to win and argue? Do you have to argue and win always? Let me give you another anecdote and you will be more clear about this. It was a celebration dinner for Dr. Mahesh, who was sitting at the dinner table with the guest of honor, Mr. Amit. Both of them had been invited by a common friend, Mr. Arun. While they were having dinner and casual talking was going on, Dr. Mahesh suddenly came out with a saying, saying that, you know, the one saying that has always impacted me is, hatred is never ended by hatred, but by love. And this is what has impressed me about the Bhagavad Gita. Samit was very surprised. He said, the Bhagavad Gita? Immediately, he felt his friend Arun stamp his foot, who said, he is right. You are wrong, Amit. It is from the Bhagavad Gita. Amit did not make any comment. He just kept quiet and later on, while going home, he asked his friend, Arun, you knew very well that that saying was from the Buddha. Why did you support him on that day? Arun calmly replied, Why did you want to put him in trouble? He should have, he must save his face. What would you have got if you had argued with him? Would he have liked you more? You know, it is always good if you do not, I'm sorry, you don't have to belittle or embarrass a person. The best way to win an argument is to stay away from it. Now, Amit had learned his lesson and he thought to himself, yes, if I had argued, I wouldn't have, I would not only have made him feel uncomfortable or felt little, it would also have embarrassed my friend. I'm so glad that I did not argue. So you see, these are some of the little rules making the person feel important, acknowledging a person, appraising a person, giving him some appreciation to limit your arguments are some of the golden rules of the human conduct. So you have a whole list of them. Don't criticize, condemn or complain. Give honest, sincere appreciation. Become genuinely interested in other people. See things from the other person's point of view. A person's name to that person is the sweetest sound in any language. So try to remember the person's name when you are addressing him. Be a good listener. Make the other person feel important. The only way to get the best of an argument is to avoid it. Show respect to the other person's opinions. Let the other person feel the idea is his or hers. Be sympathetic. Be thankful and do not forget the contribution a person has made. So now that you know some of the golden rules of human conduct, you will be able to recognize these in people or situations to help you deal with people with more self-control and better understanding. Thank you.